say good morning. <laughs> morning. And how are you today, wonderful? I'm feeling really good, really positive, woke up in a good mood, had a decent-ish sleep, I slept till five, got up, it's lovely, lovely weather, meant to reach 16 degrees today, full sun, uh, ready for a, a long four mile walk with my girlfriend which you picked yesterday which I've been planning all <laughs> night. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at the state of this place guys, it really is disgusting. I need to bleach everything darling, get rid of those germs, it's really grotty in here. So we need to do that first. We don't need to do that first. I need to do that first. <laughs> There's a few jobs you can be doing. But I thought we were going for a walk, We will, Mazza. we will, but cleaning our own home is still important, darling. Come on. There is some jobs you can be doing now. Right, so the place is looking a bit more of a mess. <laughs> but we're getting there, aren't we, darling? I ain't getting anywhere, I'll be honest with you. What are you looking for? Screws. We had some screws. I was going to fix that cupboard under there. Where Can't you? find them anywhere. They're not in your toolbox. They're not in my. T <laughs> well, they're not in my. T I looked in my tool cupboard. They're not there. I'll have a quick look in the toolbox, but they won't be there, Maz. I'm sure they're there. I bet they're not. They're not. Look. They're not. I knew I were right. Oh, okay. Um... I have no idea where they've gone. I'm getting fed up. I've spent half an hour trying to do jobs. I've tried to get under the van, see if I can find the oil filter to see if it's all right. I can't get under there far enough to check that. So I came in, I thought I'll fix that, can't find the screw. So basically in the last half hour I've done jack. I've done absolutely nothing. Are you confused? You told me to put this back on, fly screen. I didn't tell you, I said if you're looking for a job, that means... I wasn't looking for that. a job, I had two jobs, I just couldn't do the jobs. I didn't say I wanted another job. Are you going to cheer up today, you old grouch? <laughs> goes up there somewhere, I don't know, do I? Oh. No, I think I need some Gorilla Tape. No, you don't. God! <laughs> you looking proud of yourself. Come here, come and have a look yeah. at this. See what I've done here? I've put this thing on yeah. and it stops flies from attacking us. Yay! See, it wasn't a big deal, was it? Now, what I do want to do... Oh, this probably won't fit here. Oh, it will. Let's have a look. Stick that on so that that isn't going to fly off like it did last time. I don't think that's going to stop it if it was Well, it's going to help. It's going to help. Oh, well, so, then, thank you, darling. You're very welcome. Next. Where were they? <laughs> they were tucked up against the lip, so I couldn't see them. Found them. So, I might be able to do a job. Another oh. job. That's two jobs in one day. Well done, you. And to do it, I'm not even going to get my big screwdriver out, Mazza. Where you going, then? I think Danny sent us this, didn't he? Or somebody sent us it. I think it was Danny. Yeah, it was Danny, yeah. Um, it's got a little screwdriver on it, so I'm going to use that. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, honey, I mean, sorry. So this is the job I've got. You might remember. Oh, these latches broke off or something. So I had to buy some more, so I got these, which aren't perfect. Um, so I screwed them on. And then I got these to put on the other side for them to clip into. But I didn't have screws which would go through that tiny hole. So I've got screws now. Um, I've just got to line them up properly, screw them in. And that should then clip in and stay in. They were the hardest thing in the world to put in. Why is nothing at eye level? Why does everything have to be hidden? Right, let's see if it'll go in. Probably won't. Okay, we'll work. Finally done it. Managed to clip it in. It's not the perfect job, I'll be honest with you. I just won't tell Mazzy. Um, and I'm going to put some boxes in front of it so she'll never know. But, yeah, it's it's actually on. 
So this is where we were last night. Beautiful little spot. Just a very barren place right on the top of the mountain. You might remember the fog from yesterday. Well, that's just a bit further on and now it's just starting to come down. So we're still on the top. Um, perfect internet signal here to upload, but anywhere else there's no signal. So if you go down anywhere, you don't get a signal. So we're quite happy here. What we're going to do today is drive this way three miles, three and a half miles, go for a four mile walk and then come back here for the night. Honestly, it's just so quiet. You don't even hear wildlife. There's hardly any cars, maybe one car every half an hour comes on here. Only one car's pulled in here since we've been. In like, I don't know, 16 hours. It is such a peaceful place. This is where you want to isolate. We're very happy here. Thank you, darling. I know you said jobs needed doing, but normally I don't have to do any jobs. No, Only man jobs. No, I know. I'm doing girl jobs. <laughs> I only want you to wipe all the handles, door handles. Why though? Why? Germs! I don't want germs put back into the van. <laughs> We're nearly ready to go on a walk now anyway. Are you fit? Yeah, I've put my um, waterproof socks on. See. Oh right, what, your big ones? Well, they're not that big. Oh, you're going to sweat not, in those. No, I'm not. No? And my walking trainers. I'm not wearing Wellingtons. If we're going four miles, I can't wear Wellingtons for four miles. No. Um, but it is meant to be quite wet in parts. So oh, whether it? you want to wear them or not, it's up to you. Oh, OK. But it's no good for me. So right. Yeah, I'm just wiping down anyway. I'm just going to go and get finish up and then I'll get ready, honey. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Finished. Everything is bleached. Top to bottom, carpets out, everything bleached. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Look how tight it is. Even this bit, this was getting on top of us. Are you proud of me today, honey? Yeah, can we go now? So are you ready for your walk? Huh? Yeah, I'm just, just doing some windows first. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to have your sandwich. Yes, I'm just eating a corned beef sandwich. We're having a bit of problem at the moment getting meat, aren't we? Mm. Um, we what I really wanted was a roast beef and... Horseradish. Horseradish and onion sandwich. Yeah. Can't get roast beef anywhere. And that's our only tin of meat. And we've just had to open it for your sandwich, so... Yeah. <laughs> we did find roast beef in Centra in the supermarket yeah. we've just been to. Um, and it was two days out of date. Yeah. And I had to go up to the lady and say, excuse me, this is out of date. She yeah. apologised, took it off yeah. the shelf. We, we were bad, more bothered about not having the beef, wasn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've gone on to our rations. But you can't beat it, can you? Corned beef and pickle sandwich. I got this one bap, especially because it just looked fantastic. Thank you. Said, you're welcome, but I thought it was supposed to be for your picnic today. No, it's it's to get me through my picnic, Mazzy. It's to get me through my picnic. Okay. I can guarantee everybody is going to be commenting, saying, Oh my God, look at his mucky nails. You've got to remember, I've been doing jobs, and although I've washed my hands many, many, many times, including the supermarket, which have started providing hand sanitizer and gloves, which I thought were really good. Yeah. Um, I obviously haven't gone under my nails, so I apologise for that. I will sort it out, but not at the moment, because I'm eating. There, sorted them out especially for you. Can I eat my sandwich now? Okay, we're setting off. We're setting off. Decided not to take the big camera. There is a bit of wind. If you get wind noise, tough. <laughs> it's either that or we have to carry a big camera around. We don't want yeah. it today. Um, beautiful little cottage behind us, look. And there's a museum there, just behind it, which is Molly something it's museum. Molly Gallivan's, Molly Gallivan's museum. We're not entirely sure which way we're supposed to be going here, um, but Mazzy seems to think up there. So let's go up there. <laughs> Follow the green signs, Mazzy. Yeah. So there's your three walks. You've got Fionn McCool Loop. 
which is what we were going to do, which is four miles. But we're a bit behind schedule today, so I think we've decided we're just going to do the Druids loop, which is, it says one and a half to two hours. Uh, and nobody does that unless they're stupid. So the gate's there. <laughs> it starts with a slight incline. Um, I've just invented something, Mazzy, and I've decided we're going to yeah. do it. It's called the Mazzy and Dan Travel Trolls Loop. Oh, okay. It starts at the gate, comes up to here, right? And then you pretty much go down here and then back to the gate and back to the van. Let's do that, come on. No, come on! We've hardly set off. We're, <laughs> this is ridiculous. But it starts with a slight incline. Say slight, it's massive to us. But I love this, look. Your big little briquettes of peat. Ready to be burnt. We're thinking, we have to walk up to the top of here and then it should be pretty much downhill from there. I'm just going this style. Right, this is number eight. Number five, and you've got number nine over there, like some little tunnel thing. Is this like a proper trail where you see things? I don't know. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> well, this is number eight. Yeah. And that's telling you the story of number eight. Number eight is the peat turf bog. You can read about it there, look. Another information board, fill your boots. It's actually a famine house. There was a famine family living here. I believe that's a picture of what it used to look like. And in this house, as you can see from the picture there, it was a lady. She had two dogs, two cocks, a lady servant-ish type thing, or maybe a sister, and two men. So maybe it's four cocks. Well, I don't know. They might, they might be nice men. They might be nice men. So way up yonder there, is number six, right? It's nothing to get excited about, it's just a stone which leans. But you come up here to number seven, and it explains that this is a Neolithic stone row, up to 3,000 years before Jesus was born, or died, Mazzy. And it's all to do with the alignment of the sun and stuff. It goes on about it there, fill your boots, read about it if you want. You've actually got like a red marker there and it's showing you where this stone alignment is. So you've got this one here, you've got that one up there, and they align with the sun at certain times of the year. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a bit like a sundial. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! I see! Oh, you ignorant git! So we started as walk, we went up a massive hill, we've been going through sloppy mud. We've got to this point, Mazzy. Do you know where we are? Near the van. <laughs> Near the van. The van is literally just round that corner. Um, what's going on? And it's actually brought us to a dead end. It's a gate which is... It's sealed up, it's got string around it. I don't feel like climbing that. This no, is anyway, ridiculous. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, we've got to go all the way back. This is ridiculous. <laughs> We're going to have to climb it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> well done, Mazzy. Well done. Your turn! Yeah, but I don't like this. Come on! Yeah, but there's a sign up there on, on that railing yeah. there. It tells you which way to go next. It's actually telling us to go that way and not back to the van. Come on! But the van is just around the corner. Why are we wasting it? What, what's the point in going that way? We know damn well we've got to go back that way at some point. Last time I tried to jump a gate, I tried to show off, and I had a big injury. I'm not doing that again. So I'm just going to do it sensibly. And not have an accident. So we started as walk somewhere up there, and we've come and gone and just carried on walking, and we've got to here now, and we're going downhill. There's no wind anymore because we're surrounded by hills. Um, and I think we're about 15% of the way through the walk, Mazzy. Yeah. And we're walking away from the van. Yes. Down this lane, which is taking us left instead of right. The van's right. It's taking us left. 
He ain't stopped moaning, guys. It's not about mourning, it's about practicality. Why does anyone go left when your van's right? Because we're going for a walk. Come on. So as I said, we've come from right up there somewhere, come all the way down here. And don't get me wrong, this isn't as far down as it goes. This is like all downhill. And you get to this bit and you just keep going downhill and it's going right down there. Can I just make a suggestion to all you walking trail making people around Ireland? Chairlift, that's what they need. Chairlift. Well, it's steep enough, isn't it? Just get a stairlift going up and down the hill. This is ridiculous. So you say cable car. It doesn't matter which it is, cable car, chairlift, anything like that would be better, wouldn't it? I don't know, but then you're not... Have you ever been to Scarborough? I haven't actually, have we? Well, you have, you have, I but I don't think you've seen it. There's a cable <laughs> car in Scarborough. It literally goes up about 50 feet. We've been on it. No, that was somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, if they've got one just travelling about, might even be 20 feet. It only goes about 20 feet from front bottom to top because people can't be bothered walking up the steps. <laughs> if they're doing it for them people in Scarborough over a 10 foot distance, it's about 10 foot, why can't they do it for people here? When it's like a mile, two mile long. This is ridiculous. It's not two miles long. It is two miles, it's Mazzy. Not. It's four. Bridge. I'll tell you what, it smells beautiful. <laughs> really sweet smell and we're surrounded by holly trees. As we all know by now, there is such a thing as holly trees. This is beautiful. Lovely, lovely place. So the guys, what you nearly just done? Well, I saw something on the floor and it looked like plasticky looking. And it was like a connector for an electric fence. But I didn't gonna, know that. Yeah, it was going to pick up the bit. For, and, and it's electric as well because there were signs on and else. I nearly lost you. bit of water. Just over halfway there now. Just some birds singing in the trees and a nice girlfriend. Aww. We're still literally only just a little bit over halfway there now. The worst part about this walk, right, <laughs> is we can see us motorhome. It's about 12 fields that way down the valley and up the big hill. We can see it and we've seen it for the last mile. Um, but we can't get over there because the trail just keeps taking us away from it. Um, trailer, nothing in it. Lovely girlfriend and another road. Trees, grass, stuff like that. I hope you're appreciating this walk as much as I am. That's Dan having a little strop. <laughs> Bless him. Look, not really, but let me just show you the mountains. Look. Beautiful. <laughs> Wait for me, honey. Will you yes. <laughs> it's the only thing that's gone right today, isn't it, babe? <laughs> Can I not say anything to you without you flipping a camera on my face? No, but why? You want me to tell, say that again? What? Do you want me to say that again, what I just said? Is that why you've put the camera on me? No, it was just our first right. Back to the van. We're actually now heading... I thought you wanted me to tell, give them an interesting fact. Oh, give them that as well, yeah. Well, it's the Garda, isn't it? The, the Irish police are called the Garda. Yeah. Or so, we thought, throughout the entire time on this trip, it's Gard... Garday. 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 Oh, that's Apparently. interesting. Garde. Oh. I've been saying it wrong, so I apologise to the Garde and the people who like Garde and the people of Ireland for me saying Garde when it's Garde. We will start saying Garde from now on. It'll probably be the last one we'll have to do. Why are you going over that? Because we're going down to... Um, green you could have just, honey, never mind, come on.
So we're nearly done. We're nearly done. I say nearly, we've still got a big hill to do yet. There's this motor home. We pretty much went that way, up on top of them hills, past Slovakia, down that way, the other side of South Africa, avoided China, um, straight round, got a boat to Australia, straight over to Mexico, and right down here to this point here, which is Ireland. Nearly there. It's just this hill's going to kill us. Well, it's going to kill Mazzy, I know it is. She cannot do hills. I got stuck! Yeah, she just, she, she just stood in, in mud, look. Down here, look at that big, big, deep mud hole thingy. Look at my shoe. My mum got you then. I know, they're ruined. I don't know. What are you like? I told you to follow me. You were meant to stand on here, not down there in the mud. You let me hand go. <laughs> Woohoo! We're nearly there, nearly there, just up this hill. Come on, Mazzy. Come on, Mazzy. I'm struggling. What do you mean you're struggling? Oh, don't be moaning. Don't be spoiling his walk with a big moan. It's just up here, Mazzy. I've had a right good time, me. Back at the van, any minute now. All we have to do is get up this big, steep, massive hill. Come on, Mazzy! The hills are alive with the sound of music. Woo! Come on, Mazzy! Are you right? <laughs> yeah, I had a wonderful walk, Mazzy. Best walk I've ever been on in my life. Fantastic. I love taking our viewers out on walks because I know how much they appreciate our walks. Yay! Can't wait to take them for another walk tomorrow because we love doing walks. Wasn't too bad. No, it was lovely. lovely another <laughs> lovely walk from the Travel Trolls TV. Yay! Um, not a bad day, but honestly it was hot. So hot. 19 degrees we just yes. saw on the way back on the dashboard. It said 19 degrees. So. And we'll... it wasn't even an easy trail, let's be honest. It was an easy trail. The terrain of it wasn't easy. It was an easy trail. Anyway, <laughs> okay. uh, walk over. We'll see you all hopefully tomorrow, guys. Yeah. We're just going to relax now in the sun, have a yeah. beer, and chill out. Got 12 miles tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.